Welcome. I am so glad you clicked on my channel and I hope that I can entertain you as well as uh, give you a few tips on uh, fluid art and doing flip cup today and what I'm going to do is use this cute little bottle here and uh, we're going to start out with um, some uh, titanium white pour that in okay and I wanted to come in with, with some green green it's actually a green blue which I thought was really pretty Get a little bit of brown. And a little bit of white again. And try a different color of green. lighter color of green. Just for fun, a little bit of red. Oh, I don't want that. Let's see, I wanted this gold. This looks like it needs a stir. Yes, it did. Okay. And I'm do it with some blue. Just like that. Alright, we're going to take that, turn our little canvas over. Alright. Just going to give it a tap. Tap, tap. Oh, that's the in there. Alright. Tap, tap, tap. Pretty colors, different, almost looks like Christmas colors, doesn't it? Alright, let's do a little tilting. Again, bringing it down. We're gonna go over here a little, and then back. Set it down for a minute. Just let it rest. See what it wants to do. I think at this time I'm gonna go ahead and give it a torch. Torture not wanting to torch. I wonder why. There we go. I don't see anything really happening. 
<laughs> not uh, anything that I'm doing for sure because I'm not seeing any cells at all other than what came out of the cup so I'm going to go ahead and do a little more walking of our painting down I mean, I love all that color. I hate to have to lose them. That's why I'm trying to go a little bit slower through there. Okay, good. Uh, let's get this little corner. Let's bring it to the middle again. This side again. See if we can get that edge done. All right, there we go. Let's bring it back. And there we go. Ooh, look at that. Pretty, pretty. Looks like not a napkin in sight, but I found one. Okay, pretty. Again, a Chris very Christmassy, huh? I doubt the torching's going to do anything. It didn't before. I'm not sure why. But it is what it is. Paintings kind of create themselves, I think. We just put the paint together and hope for the best. <laughs> now, there is. You put a paint uh, kind of color first and then translucent. I mean, there is some basic guidelines that you do when you do a pour. And there we are. That's what we get. We're not getting any extras, no baby cells, no nothing. What cells came up just were already there. I want to tell you that in this, I used the U.S. Floetrol. And it's the way it is. And, um, that's probably the reason I didn't get such a good result. The Australian is much better. Also, Liquidex, poor medium, is a little better. But since I am trying to make the U.S. flow trial work, uh, this is what I'm doing, kind of experimenting. It, they seem to have their own cells and then not give you anything afterwards. But our sides are all covered pretty. Uh, very different. So I like it. It's different. Thank you for joining me on another fluid art experiment. I don't see anything else I can do to. There's some pretty cells uh, and things like that. Isn't that interesting? The U.S. flow trial kind of brought them out, but you know, just not in a whole bunch. Like I see some growing through here. Okay, some white coming through. So it's still doing its thing. Interesting. U.S. flow trial, huh? Oh, did I put? I th I think I have um, the uh, flood pet 
petrol oil in here as well. Uh, that's from the left brain artist who said that if you tried, you know, using the flood uh, petra, that that will be act. It acts like um, silica. But uh, for me, unless I don't have the right raci ratios, I am not getting what I get, you know, with silicone and and. Uh, the Australian Floetrol or the Liquidex Poor Medium. Those are the two, you know, that I used. And then I decided, needed to learn how to use the U.S. Flo you know, Floetrol. And see what we can get. Okay, I'm just yappering on. The reason being is I'm just watching the sales coming up. The, the, the petrol uh, coming up. So maybe it's just a slower reaction. It doesn't need a flame to make cute. Now that's really cute, that little green um, cell that's surrounded with red or, and, and then uh, blue and then there's red. Yeah, they are, that's so, that's so cool. Like here's one coming. It's making itself. Yeah. Okay, well, let me see if I can give you a closer look. There we go. I'm going to fly over. Ooh, that one's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm holding it up high. It's an 8x8. Eight eight, so that's kind of what it looks like way up when you get it all in the in the camera. Okay. And then as we come down. Yeah. The cells made themselves. The torching did nothing. This is what uh, it decided to make of itself. I put the colors in a cup and then gave it a flip over, and that's it. The torching did, want, did not work, and as I sat here, I have been watching cells emerge, and I'm not doing a thing. There's that green one that I thought was so cool. There's two, three. Look at that. Isn't that I think that's so pretty. So pretty. All right, there's our flyover. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. Thank you for being here. I hope that you decide to subscribe to my channel. Um, I really need subscribers. It really helps us out. Um, comments and thumbs up. On the YouTube player would be awesome. Uh, have a good day. And until the next one. We will see you then. Bye.